Hey guys, how you doing? Phil here, back with uh, yet another episode of Imperator Row, in which we play Bactria on Hide and Geek. This time we are going to defeat the Morians. At least that is the plan. That is our ultimate goal here. Well, not to defeat them, like, and uh, wipe them out. We just want to take those, uh, their ancestral lands from, from under their noses. They can keep the rest. Uh, so yeah, if you like what I'm doing here, please leave a like. Uh-huh, see what I did there? No pun intended, though. Uh, or maybe subscribe to the channel if you're new here to let me know if I'm doing a good job. And if you think I, I, I don't, because that's also a possibility and I'm always open for criticism. So if you think I don't and I'm in need of some criticism, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your opinion. Anywho, let's get back to playing. Yep, and start with the Blessing of Ares. To just increase the discipline of our armies a bit. Just quickly merge those armies. Take those guys south. Take those guys east. We have been given a gift. That is very good. Now, we need to get permission from both of those guys. Oh, they already... We already have military access from them. Those guys will also give us military access. So that's actually a very good sign. Come on, guys. Go south. That's okay. Now, you... You will attack in just a second. You will... Support this army. You are going to attack to the south, the ship of state, something, something. Philosophos. You want to be the Philosophos. But the Philosophos. No. Unfortunately, we have to get rid of a guy that's pretty useful. Okay, uh, anyhow. Those armies are staying. They need to defend against... Uh, against other threats here. That's all right. Can we fabricate a claim against something more? Where's Gedrosia? Here. Oh. We can actually do that, can't we? Where's Taxila? Here. Yes, let's... Let's take this and wait just a... Uh, a bit more and fabricate a claim against Gedrosia. Why, why not? While we're at it, we can we can actually take all those lands from under their nose as well. Probably a good idea. Can we talk to you again? No, 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 no. I don't want to pay you off. I want to talk to you guys. And Gedrosia. Yep. That's good. That's okay. 284. They're getting pretty... Um, pretty strong here. We might need to recruit some mercenaries. Okay, and also, we might want to have a general here. So, if we wanted to recruit those guys... We could, we could do this. Um, whoa, what, what does this? Oh, this is like a, a continuation of the... Of the USZ migration uh, quest or event chain. So, the USZ have been quite a boon to our economic strength. Now it seems they also show promise in the political sphere. A man of incredible talent has arisen, born to USG parents, and haven't arrived here in one of the many migration waves we have seen entering our country. We may have to find him a place in government, by all means. Oh, he's actually pretty... Pretty good. So... He's actually the best at being... Religious leader, but uh, you know what? I think I'm going to. Hmm. 
Do we have someone here? Yep, we actually do, so... That should do it. That should, uh, that should be okay. Um, now, do we want those mercenaries or not? We might... We might want to... Huh. They have elephants. We might want mercenaries with elephants. What do you think? I think we might those we we might want those guys. Yeah. Right. So we're here, and we're ready to kill those guys. We are declaring war. Taking Aracosia. And a whole lot of other stuff. Now this is going to be a big one. A really, really big war. You have to recharge your abilities or whatever. That's good. I don't care. You go here. You go here. You're still going over here. That's all right. Now we need to keep track of all our armies. Oh, and we're already under attack here, potentially. Maybe we should go and... I don't know. So these guys are deception... Good against deception and phalanx. I don't know what these guys are rolling with, but... That might not be the walk in the park I, I thought it would be. Let's go to the fort. Retreat for a while. Other than that... I'm gonna stick to the plan here. Good, okay. Oh, those are hills, actually. I should have stayed there. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna stay here and defend. That is okay. Detach Siege. Do the same here. I have got to be very careful. They are going to retake their lands here. I don't care about that, really. Those guys are absolutely expendable, and I'm going to treat them as, as the expendable troops they are. Good. You are going to take the fort. Okay. We've taken the lands from under their noses right here. Let's do the same over here. We have two armies here. Is that right? It is. Just quickly take Arachosia. The Siege of Parsnia is won. That's good. Isn't it? Of course it is. Mm-hmm. How about this? Oh no. We don't we don't need this. Like that. Are they attacking me already? No, they aren't. Their country is too big for them to react quickly to the threat I'm posing. I guess that's uh, that might be the case here. Raising a host. Who is raising a host? The general of the fourth stratos. He's pretty loyal, and I have nothing against his raising 
of hosts. What is happening here? Okay. So those guys are actually going to attack us, and they also have some elephants. Maybe I will reinforce this army. I'm not sure if I can... Uh, if I'll be there in time. But I'll do my best. Yeah. This might not be an easy battle for me to win. Unfortunately. Okay, I think this is all under control. How about here? Can we... We're going shock action. Can we change it to something else? No, shock action is actually the best right now. Yes, well, okay. They were supposed to be expendable after all. Ooh, I'm losing. I'm losing badly. Shock action isn't... Uh... Is that a defensive strategy, it seems? Well, I should have known that. But, uh, still. Losing that bad... Is really... Hurting my... Oh, okay. That's okay. So, can I tell those guys to bugger off right now? 451 and um, I might actually tell them to to bugger off or where are those guys here they are um I've never disbanded a unit. Okay, they're they're retreating and that's why they cannot be disbanded. That makes like that makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay, and we're just quickly in 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 real need to Okay, they they'll be here in a while. In a short, short while. Those guys need an uh, a general. And some reinforcements. And we're probably going to lose. So you know what? I'm actually going to order retreat. And then attack him with those two armies. Set this one out. I don't really care. Those guys, they really need to... They really need to support my other armies here. Uh, those guys aren't that important, but still. Where are you going? All the way to here. Oh, that's a, that's a really long way away. I hate that. Local tensions. Support Macedonian interests. Okay, no problem. Now, this is a big army here. I don't like what they're trying to do. They're victorious where? Here. Oh, that's good. That's actually a pretty neat um, result, I'd say. Now, our side might lose this. Can't really see how, but uh, we have to we have to do whatever's in our power to to win this siege ability. Good. Oh man, we are losing badly. Come on, die. Oh no, we are going to lose this. 
We are defeated. Well then. Well then. I don't need those guys anymore. But I might actually buy myself some... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 12 elephants. Yes. Those guys are going to be very expensive. But I need them. I need them right now. We are victorious where? Here. They are still attacking me over here. Very good, I guess? I don't know. Maybe. This I don't really care about. This I am going to quickly... Oh, what do you want? No. I'm sorry, but... I will not stop here. I need to get... Get what? Madra. This whole place. And I need it right now. Miraculous recovery. Okay, good. Where are you? Retreating here. That's not so bad. That's not so far. Which is pretty awesome. Let's detach siege. Do the same here. Oh, we already have two armies over here. Better than 50 guys over there. They're not going to pose any threat to us. And we're fighting here? Wow, I didn't I didn't notice this earlier. So my mercenaries actually did something uh useful. That's good. Now this army needs to get down there. This army needs to get south also. We are going to lose the battle here because I didn't pay attention and that's really really annoying okay we need even more mercenaries in that case we are defeated yep yep I know I get it Um, okay, you are ready. Go here. You're already getting back. Those guys are going to retake their lands, which is not something I am... I'm, I'm surprised with, or scared of. But... I'm, I'm tempted to use some of those guys. I probably shouldn't. I need hordes of mercenaries here. 24,000. Ooh, man. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I haven't stopped the game. Now I'm going to lose another army, aren't I? Yeah, probably. Oh, that's bad. Come on. Now, I am going to win this one. Definitely. Maybe not that definite. Anyway, um, there's 8,000 of those guys here. I should be able to, to deal with them pretty quickly. Now, I will win here in the mountains. This is a pretty defensible position. Um, I'm going to deal with those guys here also pretty fast. We're victorious over here. That is also a very good sign. 
Now, where's Madra? So, I need those guys here. Those guys here. And those guys over there. And that should do it. Are we winning here? No, we're actually going to lose this. That's annoying. I mean, very, very annoying. What can I do? I just have to... Take all of those lands. Very quickly. Yeah, okay. I know, I'm defeated here. That's not a problem, actually. Uh, another 20,000 or so. Oh, I actually don't need those lands. I need... Uh, the only thing I need is this. Am I going to be there on time, though? Plus 22,000. We are victorious. Where? Here. I don't really even know we're fighting right here. But okay. That's good. So... Okay. Blocking the banner. Yep. Not a problem. There's a lot of those guys here and I don't really need them. Well, I should probably order full retreat. I don't need to lose those armies again. But, we're, we're already here. Peace a minute. Let's... Let's beast them out. Maybe it's going to work this time. Okay, so what we want from them as of course Arakosia because we were this was our primary target. Then Gandara. We don't need Gadrosia. We don't we don't need that. Uh Axila. And Is that the place I wanted? Yes. Yep. Also. No, 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 no. Oh, sheesh. Reset. Where? Where did... <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to, to have this, this view, actually. Uh, so, once again. Taxila. Madra. Gandhara. Aracosia. And it's they're still they're still okay with this. They're still okay with this. Taking whatever we want. I want this, and this, and this, and this too. And those two places. Because why not? And this. <laughs> Right, in this. And they're still right with this. Holy crap. Oh, okay. That was too much, apparently. And some money, in that case. And... 316. Booyah! <laughs> Look at this! This is how much we have taken. Oh, yeah. Now look at those things. We have... Hey, wait a minute. This is not making any money. <laughs> I was thinking that this one's actually make us a whole lot of money but it isn't true well maybe it's because we it doesn't have a governor for first for one and you know a whole lot of uh, stuff m must have been destroyed 
during the war. Now. Uh, this is the Stratos. Where are the mercenaries? Here they are. We don't need you guys anymore. No problem. No, no, no. Do not recruit the mercenaries. The strata are okay. Those guys can be disbanded. Those guys can get back to our country. Those guys can stay wherever they are. Okay, just just wait a minute. This I know I know this is uh this this was a pretty important victory, wasn't it? Uh, but before you do anything else, I need to I need to see the decisions here. And and just like that. Oh, an Indo Greek kingdom. Adds four citizen pops with state culture and religion, four freemen pops, and four slaves pops. Factory gains by the Indus until the end of the game. So wrong culture group happiness plus 10% and diplomat reputation plus two. That is massive. We can actually stop uh, culturally assimilating other other peoples right now. Because they're, uh, they're pretty happy as they are. So... Bactria has wisely enacted an Indo-Greek kingdom. The lure of friends, empires, and riches to the east leads many of our people to the realization that fighting over the scraps of Alexander's empire may not be a goal worth pursuing. Greater glory lies in tying our destiny to the land beyond the Indus. Bam! Look at this. Bactria is stronger than Moria right now. And that, my dear friends, that has been the main... Get back. The main goal of this playthrough for quite some time now. And we have just achieved it. Revel in the glory it brings us. The glorious Indo-Greek Bactrian Empire has become one of the primary powers in the world, I think. Might that be true? Yes. We're definitely stronger than those guys. We're stronger than anyone, actually. And everyone. Kush is big, but it doesn't do anything. So, we're actually pretty powerful. And we've done what we wanted to do. And with that said, I am pretty sure it's the perfect, perfect moment to end the Bactrian series of Imperator Rome on Hide and Geek. I didn't really think it was doable, and I don't really think that I'd manage that, as this is my first playthrough of the Imperator Rome game in, in, in my entire life. Not not only on the channel, I haven't been playing this game uh, outside of the channel uh, for... Uh, well, I haven't. Just like that. So, I think that was pretty pretty hard to, to, to get the Morians to, uh, to fold, but we've done this. And we should be pr proud of ourselves. Uh, so, guys, with that said, thank you so much, so, so much for staying with me until the end of this series. It was a pleasure. I had a blast. I absolutely loved playing this game for you. And I really hope we will see each other in future series, maybe of Imperator Rome, maybe of some other games. Anyway, I... Uh, I'd really like you to, to, to stay here on Hide and Geek with me, and, uh, shit, I don't really know what to say. I haven't really thought about that. Anyhow, have a great, great, awesome day, everyone, and I really hope to see you around on the channel in the future. 
So, you know, hugs and kisses to all of you and over and out.